Hey guys, Michael here. Today I'm with my wife Laura and we are going to talk about acrylics. Today we're going to make a few toppers to show you guys how easy and fun it is. Yeah, so we're going to do a couple of different or make three different toppers for you. And what I mean by topper is all the rave right now are Stanley tumblers and everybody wants a topper for it. And all a topper is just something that just it's like an ornament for your for your Stanley. You just literally slide it on your on your Stanley and it looks like that. So without further ado, let's hop on over to XCS and start designing our very first Stanley topper and I'll let you pick out the colors. Oh, sounds good. So for our first topper, we are going to make a sea turtle design and this is going to be the base plate. For the actual sea turtle, we're going to use this pretty glitter color that's going to go right on top of it there. We are in XCS right now. The first thing we're going to do is pull our image. We are making a sea turtle topper. and then our 40 ounce plate. So for this one, the first thing I'm gonna do is copy my turtle, and then I'm gonna take this one here and center it where I want it to be on the cup. So I'm doing this because I'm going to actually unite these two images here, which is basically combine them to a solid piece. That way, when I put the different colored acrylic on top, it kind of gives it a sturdier place to stick on. Now, as you can see here, there's a couple of pieces that I'm not going to need. So what you do is you go come over here to insert circle and circle the piece that you want to delete. You're going to come up here to combine and unite and it's going to make that little piece disappear. Do it again for the bottom piece, just so that this is one solid plate. There we go. So since we're doing two different colors, I'm going to do the plate first. I'm going to take the top design and I'm going to click ignore and then I'm going to come back to the base plate. You want to put it on output. Make sure you select cut and we use 60% power and depending on how thick the acrylic is um, will determine your speed. We're going to go with seven and that is ready to go. Now we just have to get our acrylic in the machine set up. Okay so now we're ready to put the acrylic inside the P2. When you purchase acrylic it's going to have a protective film, whether it be a, a paperback like what you see right here, this is a paper, and this one has a clear film. So what you need to think about is, do I want to peel this off or not? My personal rule of thumb is, if I'm going to do some fine cutting, like a small name, I'm going to peel it off. And I'm not going to peel off the entire sheet, I'm going to peel off a section of it and kind of tear it away just to expose just the part I want to cut on. Um, if I'm doing a larger piece, I'm just going to leave the plastic on here or the paper on there. So I'm going to put the acrylic in here. I have it on the honeycomb, but what I don't want to do is actually put the acrylic directly on top of the honeycomb. What I have found is the laser is hitting through the acrylic and hitting the honeycomb. It'll actually bounce back and reflect and actually discolor the uh, acrylic on the base. So what I ended up doing was taking some scrap pieces of three millimeter basswood and I just had those scattered around and I'm gonna put the acrylic on top of that. That will give me an air gap between the acrylic and the honeycomb. Now I need to set the height or the, um, the thickness of this material. Another thing that I found with working with acrylic was if you want to use the auto measure, it is inaccurate when it comes to certain color acrylics. A trick for that is take a piece of paper, lay it on top of your acrylic and auto measure on top of the paper, then remove the paper and you could actually cut out your material. Okay, now that you have a close up look at your acrylic, I'm gonna take my design I like to zoom in and try to utilize as much of the acrylic as possible. One of the neat things with this software is, as you can tell, this color is a little hard to see on this background. So, uh, especially if maybe I wanted to make a red one or something similar to that, you can come down here and select your different layers and change the colors. So for this, I'm gonna select a bright blue. For me personally, I can see that a little better just to make sure everything's lined up correctly. All right, everything looks in order. We're gonna hit process, then start here. 
All right, then you come in your machine and hit start. I always like to peek in, make sure everything is working. Here is the base plate. Okay, now we're gonna work on the sea turtle part. So I wanna interrupt this video real quick and just talk for a minute about the P2 and acrylics. When it comes to cutting acrylic on the P2, man, the P2 just does an amazing job. Now when it comes to acrylic, Xtool has a ton of acrylics you can actually pick from on their website. They have, and I know we talked about this before, but I just wanna stress, stress about this. The, the acrylics are just amazing. And unless you see them in person, even on this video, it's not gonna look as good as you see it in person. Like I said before, they have um, all kinds of sparkles, all kinds of glitter. You know, um, this one actually is hot pink. You can't really see it that well, but if I pull this back, you can see the hot pink is revealed underneath that paper. And also they have even textured acrylic. This piece of acrylic, if you rub your hands on it, it actually has bumps in there. It looks like, uh, sort of like ice on there. When it comes to the acrylic in this video, we use three millimeter acrylic for all these pieces we're actually making and all these projects inside this video. When it comes to three millimeter acrylic, whether it be clear or have glitter in there or even texture, we're gonna use 60% power and seven millimeter per second. That, what we found works best for us. Um, you may find something that works different for you. However, what we found if you go too fast or too hot, it'll cut it and, and actually, as it's cooling down, it'll weld back together. So what I've found is the 60% and seven millimeter per second gives it enough time to cut and kind of separate enough where it won't weld back together. And uh, yeah, that works best for us. But acrylic is amazing on the P2. So let's get back to the video and see how this project turns out. Sorry for the interruption. So now that our pieces are all cut out, we're gonna use a weeding tool to remove the protective film that's on the acrylic. Try not to scratch the acrylic. Just peel that off. There we go. So now we are going to attach it. When it comes to attaching acrylic to acrylic, you have a few options. Um, acrylic is non-porous and so you have to use uh, glue that's specifically made for acrylic or something that actually kind of works with acrylic. We use a couple of different methods. We use either E6000 craft glue or we use a double sided tape. All right, we're just gonna use a tiny bit because we don't want it to squeeze out. This stuff is very sticky. And then we're just gonna line it up. All right, so we're gonna set this aside to dry and we're gonna work on our next topper. We're going to insert our 40 ounce topper base. Have that, let me zoom in. And I'm going to put the word Michael on here. So we'll go to text and type the word Michael. I'm gonna use the font that I like to work with. Now, what I need to do is just resize this so that it fits on this. I have Michael sized the way I want it. Let me move it out of the way. And if I zoom in on Michael, as you can see, I have these lines inside here. I need to make this one solid piece. You can select the object, select weld, and it will become one piece. This dot is gonna get lost and fall inside the machine. What I'm gonna do is actually combine this dot with this stick of the letter I. I'm going to get rid of this dot. I'm going to insert a circle, put it on top, select the circle and the name, combine and subtract to get rid of the original dot. Now I'm going to insert another circle and I'm going to move it using my arrow keys. With them overlapping, I'm going to select them both, combine and unite. First thing I'm gonna do is cut out the base plate. So let's select Michael, set it to ignore, select the base. Again, set the parameters based on you, what you use and what works with you. Okay, we've got the back all finished up. The next thing I'm gonna do is actually uh, 
cut out my name but before I do that I want to attach the name to this back piece with double sided tape alright so I want this side to be the back side so I'm going to take a small piece of tape and I'm going to go ahead and cut it with a pair of scissors stick this down just like this make sure it's nice and flat I'm going to put this inside the P2 with the tape facing up okay that's all finished up and as you can see the name is still in there and I'm going to have to poke it out okay so I have the word Michael here and I have the sticker on the back here now I'm going to attach this to the back I'm going to use my weeding tool and peel off some of the sticker. I have the sticker exposed on the back, word on the front, and now I can line this up, push it down, make sure it's firmly in place. And now I have a customized topper for a Stanley topper. Okay, and for our last topper, we're going to do something a little different. Instead of doing two separate acrylics, we're just going to engrave in one piece of acrylic for the plate. There you have it. Nice and engraved on there. You could do a name if you wanted to. It's just another fun little way to make your toppers personalized. All right, so that's it. We made three different toppers, three totally different styles. One, um, she adjusted the, the base plate to match the uh, design on the front of it. And we used glue to glue that one together. We used also a customized topper and uh, use tape to put the name on there and then we made a engraved one so that's all i want to share with you guys i appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you next time bye